Hello Internet and welcome to CodeBig. In this video, we will be comparing the performance of Bun and Node by benchmarking how they perform on running commands that we developers encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. So without wasting any time, let's get started, shall we? First off, let me show you the tool which we will use for benchmarking. It's called Hyperfine. You can find this GitHub link in the description below. Feel free to explore this GitHub repo and its different options once you are done watching this video. I will be explaining the command and their usage as and when we encounter them. Let's kickstart the benchmarking by comparing how Bun and Node performs as a task runner. In my terminal, I am currently on a folder called task runner. If I do a ls in the current directory, you will see it has a single file called hello.js. Let me print the content of the file by running cat hello.js. As you can see, it's a very simple file with just a simple console log of hello world. Let us compare the time taken to execute this single file. In order to do that, let us run the following command. You can find these commands in the description below. Before I run this command, I want to explain it real quick. Hyperfine expects stringified command as its arguments, which will be executed sequentially and its performance will be noted down and compared automatically for us. In this case, bun hello.js and node hello.js are the stringified arguments. Next, we'll pass warmup equals to 100 as one of the options to Hyperfine. This means the command bun hello.js and node hello.js will be run 100 times in the background and the cache will be warm before running the actual benchmark. If we run this command real quick, you can see it first performs warm-up runs and then performs the actual benchmark. If we look at the summary, it's very clear that bun was approximately 3-4 to four times faster compared to node. This becomes significantly important when you start using bun on your cloud functions. In this case, your functions will have a 3 times faster boot up and execution time. Next, let's compare the performance of bun and node as a package manager. If you don't know already, bun provides bun install which is a fast package manager and an npm client. Let's see how fast bun and node are able to install the same set of packages under the same circumstances and compare their performance. Here I am on Visual Studio Code where we have a package JSON. If you look at the contents of the package JSON, there are around 6 packages that needs to be installed. All of these are packages that will be present on a typical React application. To benchmark, I head over to the terminal in Visual Studio Code and run the following command. It's a very simple command and I run bun and npm install and pass two new options to Hyperfine called prepare and cleanup. Prepare is run after running bun install and cleanup is run after running npm install. We are also deleting node modules, bun lock and package lock so there is a clean slate every time we perform the benchmark. On hitting return, warm-up runs are performed and then the benchmark takes place. As you saw, once bun install was done, the node modules and bun lock got deleted. So we have a fresh slate while running npm install. If you look at the summary, it's clear that bun install is around 6 to 7 times faster in installing package compared to npm install. This is good news as overall deployment time of our code to production is reduced drastically just by switching to bun install. Let's benchmark bun and node while scaffolding a new react app. This is the command I will be running to benchmark CRA. To create a new react app, we use bun create react and npx create react app. On hitting return, we can see that the initial warm-up runs will be performed and then the actual benchmark takes place. If we look at the summary, it's clear that bun is at least 1.5 to 2 times faster 
when compared to node this means we developers will have a fast development experience whenever we start working on a new react app just by switching to bun the next benchmark that we will be performing is the cra build time when using bun and node to do that i am on a directory called cra and if i do a ls here we have two folders bun react and npm react scaffolded using bun create react and npx create react app to benchmark i run the following command i cd into the appropriate directory and run the necessary build command i hit return and give it a couple of minutes to perform the benchmark now that the benchmark is complete if you look at the summary it's around 400 times faster than running npm build this is a game changer as our production code will have near instant deployment time just by switching to bun finally let's finish by benchmarking how many requests per second can be handled by bun and node when rendering server side content to benchmark this i use a tool called hey it's a small program that sends a small payload to our web application and benchmark its performance you can find this github link in the description below i already ran the benchmark for rendering server side code on both bun and node to save some time and here is the result for the same if you look at the summary section i want you to concentrate on requests per second this is the total number of requests that can be served clearly bun is able to serve 7 to 8 times more requests as compared to node how cool is that to conclude bun is clearly more performant than node when benchmarked across all the different development scenarios that's it for this video guys see you in the next video happy coding until then